Hey, Miss Taylor, it's Tanya. I understand you need to use the bedpan. Alrighty, so I'm going to go grab my stuff and come back with a bedpan. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so we'll come back. Before they grab their stuff, they must have gloves on. Best rule of thumb if you're touching plastic, gloves. So, from beginning to end. Bedpan is the one skill that requires two pair of gloves. So you grab an extra pair. Bedpan, wipes, toilet paper. This is where 360 degree privacy would be done. I don't ever put a bedpan down on some place where they eat. Proper placement is important. This part goes in the back of the bum. This goes in the front. The bed must be flat before you um, put them under it. If you're gonna roll them, the side rail has to be up. So if I was to roll her, I would roll her towards the side rail. Again, side rail always has to be up. But since our students are capable, I always have them just lift their bum. I think it's much easier than rolling. And we want to maintain privacy, so we work underneath the sheet. Go ahead and lift your bum for me. All right, there you go. It's not going to be comfortable, but this is where gloves come off. We don't touch anything else. After we put the bedpan underneath them, gloves off, always wash our hands. We can go ahead. We're going to sit them up. I know it's uncomfortable, but they don't have to be sitting up far. There you go. Are you okay? Are you comfortable? Here's your call light. Let me know when you're done. Now, this has to be within reach. Here are wipes. Wipe your hands when you're finished. But here's toilet paper to wipe your bum and wipes to wash your hands after you're done, okay? Let me know as soon as you're done. I would step out the curtain. She would go, ding, I'm done. And come right back in. We don't have to really wait. Did you use the wipes to wash your hands? This is a way to kind of make sure that we set it when we wash, walked out because the wipes aren't for her bum, they're for her hands. Flat going in, flat coming out, meaning the bed is flat. So again, you can always have the students roll. So if I wanted to, I could be like, I would hold the bedpan, go ahead and roll to your side. And I could take the bedpan out with her rolling, but I have the side rail up. Or I could have her just lift your bum, and I would take the bedpan out that way. Maintaining privacy the whole time. She has to be covered with a sheet. Even though there's nothing in here, we take it to the bathroom. Follow me. <laughs> we would empty into the toilet. We're going to put water in it for real. That goes into the toilet, whether you flush or not, doesn't really matter. If you want to dry it, you can, because when we do all the other wet skills, we do empty, rinse, dry. If you want to continue with that, that's fine. Um, and then it'll just go to our dirty supply. Gloves off. Wash our hands. We go back and we check our patient. Are you comfortable? Here's your call light. Your bed's in the lowest locked position. Wash my hands. Pull back the curtain. Skill complete.